Welcome back everybody, my name is Cole Blue Light and today we're going to be going over the visual scripting language inside of Godot. We'll be making a simple Hello World style program. This is the very basic of basic programs that anyone gets to make when they start off programming. Except instead of uh, typing it out, we'll be taking advantage of Godot's visual script. And then maybe next time uh, we'll do some actual typing, but I'm really enjoying the visual script and I think you guys will too. It makes uh, certain harder to grasp concepts easier. I found that I had an easier time understanding some of the stuff the manual was saying when I played around with it in the visual script. So maybe this will make it easy for beginners to pick up and also quick and easy for those who are uh, maybe a little bit less experienced or, or newer to Godot to get started. So let's go ahead and take a look at our project here. I have some simple text in our scene here. This is a 2D scene. We're not going to be working in 3D today at all. We're not going to even touch 3D except for when we make our new project. And our scene consists of two nodes, a node 2D and a label. And it has the text, Hello Godot. And when we run it, it changes the text to read Godot is fun. And it's that simple. So let's go ahead and make a new project here. Go to project and then uh, quit to the project list. This is the first thing you see when you first launch Godot. We're gonna say new project and then we will give it a project name. We'll call it hello. And I'm gonna browse. I already have a folder made for this on my desktop. Godot basic there we go and then create and edit and it'll launch up our editor it starts off in 3d mode but we're going to click up here at the top to go to 2d mode and now we need a root scene it doesn't have to be any of these over here this just gives you a quick start you can use a rigid body or a label or a canvas or anything that you need for your scene. It just has to have some sort of root node here. So let's go ahead and make a root node. We're gonna use the 2D node. And it'll create one for us at the top left corner of our viewport. And uh, let's uh, zoom out real quick and take a look at this. This is our viewport. If you see this little blue line here, I don't know if uh, we can quite pick it up. Let me zoom in there. This blue line represents the viewport of our game and this is what we'll see when we run our game. This is the uh, window that is uh, that shows up after we press F5 to run. So everything that we place within here will be shown on our screen. So let's go ahead and add a label now by clicking this plus. So plus and then LAB label and then create. And now we have a text box here at the top left where our node's at and it's blank, there's nothing in it, so let's go ahead and fill it in by clicking over here on the side where it says text and typing in hello Godot and exclamation mark. Nice. Uh, it doesn't look very good, so let's make some fonts now. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here by right clicking on resource and saying new folder and I'm gonna give it a name called fonts. Okay and now we have a font folder. Let's go grab our fonts real quick. Uh, I've got mine here underneath another project folder that I was working on earlier. So I'm just gonna grab this and then drop it into our project that we're working on. I got this font from uh, Open Game Art. I'll leave a link for this down in the description below so you guys can go and grab it too. And if we look over here in our uh, file inspector, we can see that we now have a new font so let's right click on this font and say uh, new resource and we're going to type in font in this box and we want a dyna dynamic font okay hit create and we'll give it a name we're going to name it close to our actual font let's call it uh, I believe this font was called Luna I'm going to call it Luna dynamic Luna Dyna, there we go. That'll be fine. And save. And now we can use this font over here in our label. Clicking back up here. I'm going to scroll down and find font. Custom, see, custom Styles font. There's font. 
and it says empty right now so let's go to load and then open our fonts folder and pick Luna Dyna and say open and that will change our font size if everything went right let's see ah I know what I, I know what I forgot to do I forgot to actually set the font over here so clicking back to Luna Dyna where it says resource see settings 16 that's fine font here we go click here load the font open our fonts folder again and then you should see some text here say open now we can use this font up here on our label load the font font Luna dynamic and there we go hello Godot now rendered out in our custom font if we zoom out we can see how this is going to look that's an okay size you can adjust the size and settings and things down here uh, actually it was over here yeah okay so dynamic font lets you set the size for this font I believe 30 yeah there we go okay now then we've got that straightened out we got a little bit lost no big deal this happens from time to time let's move on to making a script that will change our text and also let's center this let's click our node 2d here and you see this little little bitty red marker will come up let's click up here and click move and let's move it to the center of our viewport and we'll leave it there for now let's make a new script for our label we'll click right here and then we're, we're going to use visual script we're not going to use the uh, built-in script it's going to inherit from the node label and we can leave it blank here for the name or give it a custom name let's say let's make a new folder let's keep this organized new folder go up one okay it's not gonna let me make it here we'll go over here and make one real quick we just want to keep our stuff nice and organized so new folder we'll call this scripts okay and now we will go back to making the actual script again click right here and we are using visual script as our language it's going to inherit it's going to inherit from the label node this means that it'll have access to all the methods and, and such inside of label and it's going to be saved in the scripts folder and its name we'll just leave it label.vs actually you know I want to give it a different name let's let's name it um, text change dot vs okay and we'll hit open and then we'll hit create and that has created our uh, new script and once you load up the visual script editor you'll notice it's blank so this you have to pick a function to get started and we'll go ahead and click right here and the function we want to start with is um, I believe it's process start ready function ready that was the one I was looking for so this gets called when the scene loads up it's instant and it only happens once okay this does not repeat uh, the one that repeats is uh, process Delta and also the physics process uh, now those are two separate things we'll get into a little bit later on so we have our main function here let's create a variable just right here on the side you'll see uh, under members variables we'll click right here and let's hit edit member variable we're going to change its type to a string because we're working with text okay 
and let's give it a value of Godot is fun. All right, you don't have to include quotes on that, but uh, that's how I'm going to do this. The next thing we need to do is get access to our label node, and we can do that by uh, selecting it over here. And then if we scroll up, we should be able to just grab this here and drag it into the scene. I'm holding control, by the way. And we're getting, to, that that will get text, okay? If we drag like this, we can set text. And now we click our variables over here and we drag it into our graph. And then we click out to the side here and you see this line forming? We'll connect it right here and that will let us set our text to our variables value of Godot is fun. Now the only thing we have to do is connect these two by drawing this line here and plugging it in there. And now when our program is run, uh, function ready will start. It will set the text on our label to read Godot is fun, which is in our variable, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and save this, control S. All right, we have to save our scene too because we're gonna need a, a main scene. So let's let's do this real quick. This is a nice and easy way to get set up. Let's make a, another folder. Uh, right click on resource, new folder. Uh, let's call this scenes and hit okay. And now we have our scenes folder. So if we press F5, it's gonna say, this scene's not been saved. What scene do you want me to run? We'll say, yeah, go ahead, and it's going to present us with this here text. Uh, let's go up and select our scenes folder. And we're going to call this main.t scene. Okay. And hit save, and the game's going to run, and there's our text change to Godot is fun. And it was that simple, and that was actually pretty fun, guys. Well, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. My name is Cold Blue Light. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video around. If you have any questions, leave it for me in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thank you guys for joining me today, and I will see you next time.